hello everybody and welcome to this channel once again thanks so much for clicking on this video so if you're new here kindly hit on the subscribe button to subscribe if you're old here thanks so much for coming back again so it's been a couple of days since i posted a photoshop tutorial that's that's because i've been quite busy i'm coming to a right exams for the end of semester so i've been a little busy so today i just decided to post this one so that I won't be like inactive or something like that so today we're going to do a simple but cute wedding invitation in photoshop so without further ado let's get into the video so i'll head off by creating a new document and i'm going to choose the size of a5 i don't know if that is a standard wedding invitation but I just feel like using a5 so I'll click OK and then I'll start off by opening a picture that I got from pixels.com right so I'll place the picture that is the picture over here and then I'll place it up all right so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to right click and then rasterize the layer and then place it on top over here very simple now this picture looks something else to me so i can decide to add some uh some adjustment to it okay so let me go to adjustments and then the first one that i'll make use is the curves and i'm going to drag it down small like this yeah and then i'm going to make use of the levels also so i'll drag here and then bring this one slight one like that i think this looks cute and then so you're going to just replace this picture with your picture of the picture of you and your partner right so next i'm going to select my rectangle to and draw the rectangle over here a small one like that and then i'm going to pick all colors from uh, the picture over here so i'll double click on this one and then pick a color from here let's say this color or that one would you any of them that you want to or you would like to use so let, let me maintain it here and then click ok next i'm going to draw a rectangle under this one to to cover the white area and that one i'm going to pick the color from the blue over here but I would like it to be more dark, a little bit dark, something like that. Yes. Or oh, let me bring it over here, Some, somewhere around this here. You just pick your color that you feel like using. This is just illustration to let you know how to do it. So I'll click OK. And then next, I'm going to start typing whatever we need to type, right? So... I'm going to select my test tool and start to type so the first one will be our wedding and i'm going to use the font uh, messenger pigeons so i'll take it on top here and press ctrl t to increase it out like that as soon as the color is white it, it is not blending with the picture so right click and go to blending options and then you can add a few strokes to it and then you increase the size small perhaps you change the color to this one so that it will be the same you can increase the size the more like this and if you like you add some drop shadow to it let's leave it like that okay so the next thing that we're going to do is add the names of the partners so i'm going to add a name of the the groom and the bride so i'll choose the test tool again and then this time around i'm going to use a font called aristocrat all right so groom's name let me make it this way groom's name since i don't have any particular name in my head so i'm going to press ctrl t to increase it out like that and then i'll make a duplicate by pressing ctrl j and send it to the other side and then i'm going to edit that to bride's name 
all right so i forgot to add the s to this one so like this and then you take your time to just position it very well afterwards you just make another duplicate and then i'm going to add the end to it like this okay so i'm going to press ctrl t to increase it out so that it will read like groom's name and then bride's name something simple like that right and then the next thing i'm going to open uh, a vector art over here this is for the vector art and then i'm going to place it over here so i'll bring it here and center it let me center it and press ctrl t to decrease the size small like that and position it somewhere very nicely so next i'm going to write another test which reads wedding ceremony uh, and then i'm going to change the font to Helvetica in Sarah so that it will be very bold for you to read and then position it in the middle somewhere around here right so i'll select the rectangle to and draw a rectangle under this one and change it to white yeah so something like this and then take bring it down the wedding ceremony test right so i'll position it here and then take it to the other side like that and then what i'm going to do next is make a duplicate ctrl j and then send it over to this side so we have an, a neat design over there and then next i'm going to add another test so probably this will be the date and the time that we're going so i'm using the date that i'm doing this up probably let me backdate it sunday um 29th april 2018 so I'm going to use a font called Acrobat and then the type will be bold like that yeah and then you position that in the middle also so basically you're going to center all of them and let me add the time to it straightforward so the time will be let's say 12 p.m. right all right so the next and the last thing that we're going to do today is the venue the location and blah 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 so you make a duplicate of it and then the venue i'm going to use the name of my church um the methodist church in ghana here weddings are mostly done in um churches so the methodist church and then the location is akumadan afrancho and it's in the Ashanti region. So Ashanti region. And then something like um, reception follows will be added. And that is it. So you select all of them and then you, you can space it out a little like 22. And then you click OK. And then you bring it down small like this. And then your wedding invitation should be ready but last thing that i'm going to do i'm going to select the rectangle that we created earlier choose my eclipse tool and then draw an eclipse something like this i'm just trying to make a shadow a small shadow and change the color to white over there like that so you can't see anything right so let me bring it over here and what i'm going to do is change the blending mode to overlay and then something like this will happen and then decrease the opacity so that it will create some sort of shadow on top of the rectangle and then you can go ahead and make some other changes which you would like to make and when everything is set you can just save your work and then go and print it later so that is the simplest way in my opinion to make a very cute um, wedding invitation for your wedding so if you're getting ready for a wedding you can use this procedure to make some 
small save the dates um wedding invitation and send it to your friends online and maybe print it out for them so thank you so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed and you learned something from the tutorial please don't forget to like and subscribe and don't forget to watch other tutorials of mine please don't mind my speech because i just woke up and that's why i'm speaking like that till the next video i'll catch you again innocent here and i'm out